Another important component we would like to discuss is use of informed consent in psychological assessment. Psychologists obtain informed consent for so many things which includes assessment, evaluation, diagnostic services from the clients and they ensure that conformed, informed consent is being consented by the clients by explaining the nature and purpose of the procedures that what is, whatever is going to be the part of the research inventory, they have to be given the complete information in informed consent that this would be the process which you have to go through and then explaining how information will be collected and recorded. So, by saying that, I mean, ki ye sara procedure wohi hai, jo informed consent ke hum stages or components ke baare mein pad chukhi hai, lekin ye sab kuch ab ek assessment ki setting mein hum apply kare. Yani, jab koi assessment karne ke liye jayenge, to informed consent jo hai, us assessment se pehle uh, formally jo hai, wo suit kiya jaye. Clarifying the reasonably risk, adverse effects and possible disadvantage of the procedure they intend to uh, be the part of it by using. So, the setting that we have discussed earlier, the risk-benefit ratio, what will deception, what will not be, how much we are informed consent, how many participants are participants to tell us, how many things are not telling us. So, all those protocols are there, but the difference is that we are now using it in assessment ki setting in informed consent. Ko use kar rahe explaining confidentiality and limits to confidentiality as we have been talking about this in quite much detail then explaining how where how long information will be stored like hum usko computers mein store rakh rahe hain usko hum log paper pencil test mein store rakh rahe hain hum usko kisi database mein store rakh rahe hain aur phir hum us information ko access kaise kar rahe hain so these would be the things which would be uh, going to uh, be in information of the participant who is going to give the assessment to psychologist. Advising clients that they may participate and may decline to participate which is a very basic important point of informed consent or they may withdraw by using any of the procedure which is being given to them. Uh, then explaining to clients what reasonably foresee consequences would be if they will be leaving the study in between or uske liye unko potentially kya khud nuksan ho sakte hai ya us research ki wajah se Amari research ke outcomes ko kya nuksan ho sakta hai. Then clarifying frequency, expected duration, administrative and financial basis of any psychological services that will be provided. So again, it means to say that anything which is being done in the research study except the part of deception, everything has to be disseminated to information uh, as assessment procedure might begin and hum usme a formal informed consent sign karwa kar us assessment ko start karein. Then making clear where necessity the conditions under which the psychological services may be terminated and these are some of the conditions we have been talking about in earlier slides ki kin condition mein hum informed consent ko terminate kar sakte hain, kin condition mein hum psychological services ko terminate kar sakte hain aur kin condition mein hum assessment ko terminate kar sakte hain then providing any other relevant information which is necessary. So, point ye hai ke hum ne assessment se pehle apne client ko fully inform karna hai. Psychologists fully inform clients regarding the psychological services they intend to provide unless an explicit exemption has been agreed upon in advance. Jo hum ne exemptions ki baat ki thi ke exempt cases jo hai assessment ke ya psychological services ke Agar to wo criteria fall hota hai, wo principles fall hote hain, so that's another case. Otherwise, we are going to give them complete detail in advance. And in exemption cases, it is not reasonably possible to obtain informed consent. So, wo hume priorly pata hota hai ki kin cases mein hum informed consent seek nahi kar rahe. While taking informed consent, psychologists provide all information using plain language. Now, language is an important uh, thing and in future slides, we will be going to talk about how culturally it is important that questionnaire should be simple, it should be bias free and it should be very easy to comprehend to all participants. So, making it a point that informed consent should be in a very easy language, so everyone would be able to understand that what is written in informed consent.